educate. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know that everybody wants the messages, but it's like you don't give your kids ice cream all the time. You, you give them vegetables and other things that nourish them. So, you know, what, what happens is when you're do, doing a seminar with a certain amount of people, not everybody's going to get a message. No. So, you know, I know that a lot of times people will get, you know, messages from other people's messages, which overflows, which is always great. But if they don't, I, you know, there'll be something that will come out of the Q&A or there'll be something that will come out of, you know, you know, the stuff that I'm sharing at the beginning of it, that will will hit somebody. Oh, my God, that happened after my mom passed. Sure. So I've always felt that this is an important aspect of, you know, of my work. So that's why I always kind of open up with telling stories, sharing this information, and doing Q&As. Now, do you, no. s do you save those pieces of paper when you, when you write No, out? I don't, but it's interesting because, you know, my, you know, my, my radio people, they, 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 they want to take them and they want to put them on YouTube. They well, you know, <laughs> 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 Suzanne doodles while she's doing readings. Yeah, right. kind of that's a back and, back and forth thing. Yes. And, and I was always like, wow, you know, um, for, you know, if you made like a, a coffee table book or something, <laughs> I mean, just because it, to me it was fascinating. Um, the last time you were here, I looked at your piece of paper and it's just all this scribble 